Good morning guys, Johnny with Blades of Grass Lawn Care. So this morning I'm gonna take you guys, well today anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm bringing my 36 inch Vantage with me because I have a whole bunch of, uh, well today is my quote unquote small gate day. And I usually take the 48 and the 36, but today I'm going to take just the 36. So what I'm trying to figure out with this little experiment is if it really gonna make a difference as far as mowing with a 36 instead of a 48. Now the goal is to minimize the uh, bringing my trailer with me and just use my mowing rig, you know, which makes sense. Again, like I said before, guys, because I know some of you are, you guys are gonna ask, we do not take any large amount of trash away from a customer's property because the city takes it. And everybody around here knows that. So we just place it all on the curb and the city will come on a specific day and pick everything up. Now the key is to cut or trim the day prior to the city picking up. So I know exactly when the city is coming to pick up this stuff, okay? Now, so some of you guys say, you know, you make more money taking the stuff away. I say, nah, uh-uh. Plus, everybody in this subdivision knows that the city will pick it up for free. I've given them choices, and believe me, everybody that I've encountered, except for one lady, she said, yup, just put it by the curve, the city will pick it up. It rained yesterday, so all this soil is nice and soggy, so first thing we're gonna do is trim shrubs. I have a couple of shrubs that I have to trim. So I'm gonna hit that up first. Do you guys do your shrub trimming first? I like to do it early in the morning. You know, it, it to me, and it gives my shoulders a nice workout where I don't have to use them anymore, right? <laughs> All right, let me get hot, too much talking. All right, so this is what this tree looked like and we're gonna cut it and trim it up, minimize it and clean up the limbs underneath. So, I'm gonna show you the after to this. Pretty nice, right? <laughs> and again, little by little, we'll grow out these little pieces right here. I try to get it as even as possible. So yeah, now on to the next. <laughs> and that's all the debris from one. So, and then we'll trim this one up. And here it is, guys. All done. The customer is extremely happy. I mean, she's so happy she came out and took some pictures and sent it to her girlfriends. <laughs> so, and then in, a, in about two, three days, you're not gonna even see the, uh, the leaves. You can't get those out. So we usually just kind of fluff them out and blow them out lightly. So yeah, this is it. Nice. All right. And the debris is right here. The city will come pick this up on Monday. And I'll put my tools back up and on to the next. All right guys, so this is our next task. And we're gonna just trim pampas grass and try to do something with this not sure what I can but you know we'll see once I start to uh, hit it and just kind of clean up the bottom here of the pampas grass yeah it's mainly the bottom and just some of the top and then we're gonna leave it right here and the uh, the city's gonna pick it up so let me see if I get my GoPro and put this into uh, hyper speed so you guys can at least, and hopefully I don't get any snakes. <laughs> All right. So this cleanup was a little bit different. The customer wanted to keep the privacy between him and his neighbor, but they wanted to have that clean look. And another thing that they wanted was for the plant bed to be shown you know, they wanted to go ahead and remulch the plant bed, just clean it up. So that's what I did. Just kind of take off all the hanging pieces of the pampas grass and, you know, make everything neat, uh, ensuring that the privacy was uh, kept to the customer's specification. 
now when it came to the King Sago Palm, which you'll see me uh, clean that up in a few seconds here. The way you do a King Sago Palm is while it's growing, is a uh, general maintenance where you know you cut off the branches in the bottom and you know you just kind of keep it clean and it grows nice and pretty and big. But this one was, uh, wasn't maintained for years. So what happened is, you know, it started to grow other sago palms from the bottom and it just becomes <laughs> a whole bunch of sago palms kind of together. So all the customer wanted was basically to, you know, neat in appearance and to see their plant bed. And that was the main portion. So what I did was just kind of trim it up, clean it up, and then I will come back and put down some uh, pine bark chips in there so this is kind of you know what, what I did so here I take the, uh, the string trimmer and just kind of you know clean it up a little bit and give a nice little edge to it and later on I'll you know spray it real quick and put down some mulch but the customer was pretty happy with the uh, end result and like I said it before I'll come back tomorrow and put down some pine bark and it will look uh, real nice so just blow it and leave it there for the city to pick it up all right guys so this is the after now you can see the plant bed all the way around and all we did was trim the uh, sago palm the customer didn't want it all the way down they like the privacy and we leave the debris here and also did the uh, live oak all right beautiful morning guys so i brought the 36 today because i have like three or four small gates that i have to get into so instead of bringing two mowers I'm going to just get them done with the 36. This is not an example of the small gate in the back, okay? So, but yeah, uh, I'm still using the uh, the mowing rig. And when I have small gates to get into, I have them all in one specific day. This way I can just bring the 36 and uh, I don't have to bring the 48 inch and get everything accomplished with one mower. All right, guys. Remember, save on that fuel. That's what I'm trying to do. All right, see you on the next one. Okay, guys, here's another one. Two inches. Yep, centipede grass, mowed at a height of two inches. And what I'm finding, guys, is that the, and it goes all the way in the back. This one doesn't have a gate, so. And what I'm finding is that the, uh, the 36 is doing well. I'm about to go hit one of those properties with the gate. And I'll let you guys know. All right. Mess around and I, <laughs> I get me another 36. Now you see all these little things flying around? Hopefully you can see, those are sand gnats. See that? Not sure if you can see them. They're flying all over. Those are sand gnats and they bite the heck out of you. All right, show the next one. All right guys, here's another one with the Vantage 36. This is centipede grass mowed at a height of two inches. And we didn't have a mulching kit, but we utilized a mulching blade and the Green guard shoot blocker. And this is one of those gates. Real small gate. But it opens to a big yard. See what I mean? So yeah. That's why I bring the 36. Alright. And this is where we show in the combination line 
here's a different um, setup. And <clears throat> it's a little bit funky. <laughs> and here's the other one. <laughs> Crazy, right? All right. So far, so good. All right, so here's another one. Knocking them out, knocking them out. Now this one is a corner lot. And of course it has a small little gate. But the backyard is uh, it's pretty big. As usual, brought the 36, get it done. And it's working out so far. All right. All right, guys, another one with 36 and bam. Beautiful centipede lawn mowed at a height of two inches. And yes, we are mowing at two inches. And the cool setup.